An Atlanta area mom is mad at Delta Airlines' response to a security breach on an August flight. It's a story we first brought you on Fox 5 last month. The mother says her family was stalked by a man at a Washington, D.C. airport who eventually snuck onto their plane to Atlanta without a boarding pass for that flight. Fox Eyes Tyler Fingert is live at Hartsville Jackson International Details with International Airport with the details, Tyler. Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. That Atlanta area mother told her story last month in an effort for accountability after the incident at the D.C. airport. Since then, she tells me she has heard back from Delta Airlines, but their response has her fuming. Frightening flying experience for an Atlanta area family had them demanding answers, but instead Lauren Benton believes all they're getting is the runaround. My family and I, my husband in particular, and I have a vastly different interpretation of reality than what Delta's interpretation of reality is. Benton says on August 4th, a man followed her family around the terminal at Washington Dulles International Airport before their flight. At one point, she says he was in the women's bathroom with her and one of her young daughters. Then she says he stalked them onto their plane to Atlanta. She told a flight attendant and says it turned out he was supposed to fly another airline to a different destination. My daughters at the time were panicking, crying, scared that the man was going to harm them. She says since the flight, Delta told her the person was able to get past a gate agent while they were busy, but says they blamed the situation on the passenger being, quote, confused and had diminished mental capacity. Benton disputes that and says his behavior and responses to their questions weren't one of confusion. She says she was told the man was supposed to meet his family at another gate. They are minimizing the severity of the issue to protect their brand. Benton says she doesn't believe Delta took the situation seriously. She says each family member was given a $500 gift card as an apology, but says it's not about the money because her family's sense of safety was shattered. To say that the man was confused um, really seems to discredit the emotion or emotional turmoil that it caused. And we reached out to Delta for an update on this story, but they declined to comment. In a previous statement, the airline said they have processes in place to prevent unauthorized people from getting on board planes. As for the man in question in D.C., he was not charged that specific day. We're live at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport this afternoon. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. Right, Tyler, thanks so much.